function of camera lens. The first is focusing ring. Focusing ring is shifts the lens elements within the lens body so that the subject can be brought to focus. While most lenses now come with auto focusing mechanism, the focusing ring also allows for manual control depending on the photographer's preference and situation. Some photographers prefer to manually focus on their subject to capture fine details in close-up shots or when obstacles are in the way. To use it, turn the ring clockwise or anti-clockwise to find the right focus on your subject. The second part is zoom ring. Zoom ring allows you to change your focal length by zooming in or out your subject. It helps when you are standing from a distance and you want to get closer without physically moving or when you intend to get wider shot of a landscape. Adjust clockwise or anti-clockwise to find your best composition. The third part is focal length. The focal length represented in millimeters determines how much of a scene will be captured in the shot and how much you can zoom. The measurement is not the physical length of the lens, but the magnification properties of it. In technical terms, it is the distance between the convergence point and the imaging sensor. The longer the focal length, the higher the magnification. The shorter the focal length, the wider the angle you will have. The fourth one is lens release button. For most Canon mirrorless camera lenses, there is a lock switch on the lens barrel that keeps the lens compact. By unlocking that, you will be able to shoot at its regular focal length and many of the zooming mechanism. Note that the lens will not operate unless the switch is unlocked simply by an upward push. The last part is lens mount. The white dot on the lens barrel matches the dot found on the camera body. This serves as a useful guide when fixing the lens onto the camera body. Match both dots and insert the lens mount into the camera and turn to lock securely.